Right, perfect. <laughs> Ali Drew for seconds out, joined by Sam Noakes, who has just racked up another win, another KO, seven for seven. How good was that? Oh, it was good. It sounds even better when you say it, I think. It does sound good. I'm happy with it. I am. I'm happy the streak continues. Well, he's never, ever been stopped in 70-odd fights, 73 or 74 fights. How good was it that you were able to do that? Yeah, I think, like I always said to Aaron about, like, I thought we'd go later, to be honest, but I said, if there's a man for the job, I said, I reckon I could do it, to be honest. I work at a high pace, up tough, even with the weight. I mean, like, it might be, it might look like an advantage, but it were not like I'd say, it weren't the weight, weight advantage, not the weight he had on him anyway. But, you know, like, I also was heavier, had a nice, had a nice spread for some Friday, do you know what I mean? It all led perfectly, so... I'm happy with the result. Yeah, you did look very happy at the weigh-in and, and very chirpy because well, you were... I normally am like that, to be honest with you. That is normally me, but you don't see that fight week. And obviously, you know, you were, it was only two weeks ago you had your last fight, yeah. so last minute you, were, you came out to do this. Are you just up for a fight whenever? Well, yeah, I think you get, if my phone rings, I'll answer. Do you know what I mean? I, like, with uh, what happened last year, obviously I missed the fight, so this is just making up for that. And I mean... I had a tough fight last week, but I had no like no little niggles. I was ready to go. Like even the cancelling the holidays, really, it was an easy choice for me. I mean, because like, well, look, I've got another stoppage. Do you know what I mean? Against a man who'd never been stopped, and if I didn't take that fight, he wouldn't have been my opponent ever. Do you know what I mean? So, just another like another little stoppage for me, isn't it? I suppose. And what is the aim to get to ten wins, ten knockouts? Yeah, that's the aim. As I said, I keep saying it. You know, I wouldn't mind going beyond ten, but I think ten and oh, ten KOs sounds a bit good. It does sound good. And have you had a chance to talk to your team about your performance, how they thought it went? Uh, no, it's been a bit hectic, really, because, uh, I mean, like, not that I didn't think that they thought it was above me, but we didn't think it would be second round stoppage, to be honest. No, I, I, I was shocked, to be honest. Well, no, no, I won't, really. I won't. When you went back to the corner, did you think he was going to come back out? Uh, I knew it hurt him, because I thought, God, that was, I was shot on my hand. So I thought, if that hurt my hand, I thought, like, it's going to hurt his face. But, I don't know, I thought, I see, I see his trainer looking, and I thought he might come out, I don't know. But as he said, it was only the second round. Does he really need to do another fall like that? It's, I mean, quite an achievement to stop him, considering he's never been stopped. But what is next for you now? Are you going to be back out again, or are you having a little bit of a break? No, I'm going to go on holiday Wednesday. I've got, a, I've got a wedding in Corfu, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going away with the family, and obviously we cut the other ones short, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it's worked out, to be honest. So having a holiday, and then back in the ring, then what? What are you wanting? Uh, I think I've got two eight-rounders for back end of the year, step up with a and then... Next year, big year, I suppose, 2022. I'm excited to see what's happening. I think everything's going in the right way. I'm like getting more accustomed to how things work, enjoying it a bit more in the, under the cameras, under the lights and that. So it's going well. And a bit of a back and forth with Mark Chamberlain. I've got to bring that up. Is that a fight that you're wanting as soon as possible? Not as soon as possible. I think it's got to make sense for both parties. I mean, he's a respectable lad. He'll tell you the same. Like, there's no rush. I'll say, let it build up. Let it stew a little bit. Make a big fight of it. Do you know what I mean? Sell out. Maybe the Albert Hall. What, like, what venue to sell that out? We boxed there what, like, the other week with only like a thousand people. And then it was absolutely amazing. You think with a sold out venue, it'd well, be like a dream come true. true you know what I mean? So. Do you think he's watched that performance tonight and is uh, is a little bit worried, a bit more worried? Uh, I wouldn't say he's worried. I mean, he trains hard, doesn't he? Do you know what I mean, just the same way, I'm not worried if he stops out. Like at the end of the day, I won't get a lot of punishment back. So it's like, yeah, it looks good. He's never been stopped, but we'll see down the line. Do you know, what I mean, we're both good fighters. I think whatever happens, we're going to end up meeting. I think the fight just makes too much sense being the same promoter and that. So I think it's exciting times. So I mean, we'll stay as friendly as possible till the time comes, and then uh, we'll get to it. And obviously, you were quite high up on the bill tonight, and quite a lot of fans you you've obviously fought with behind closed doors for the last year or so how good was it to have all your supporters here because you're a big big ticket seller i mean even like when we only had what like 80 last week yeah of like my fans and then like we've done nearly 200 there it's just it just makes the whole day but like the whole day better i mean when you're walking out when no one's there you feel a bit silly like i'm walking out like standing there doing all the same stuff but no one's in there do you know what i mean but it's just it's just electric you know i mean when you walk out your ears stand up and it just just gets you all excited and ready to go well, before the holiday, what are you doing to celebrate? Uh, well, I'll probably just get in the gym, I think, get some good photos for holiday. Otherwise, if I start eating big now, when I come back, I'll be massive. I mean, I've just fought a welterweight, you know. So, get back in the gym tomorrow, do a little run or something. I've still got loads of energy left. Well, great performance, Alden Sam. Thank you Thank very you. much, Ali. Thank, Thank you a lot. You.